I saw a, a niche in Bendigo for a specialty coffee store. Wanted to fill that really. Real focus is uh, a bit of a passion to deliver really good coffee that uh, no one else in town really has the time to do. Having my beautiful daughter, I thought it was the time in my life to simplify things a little bit. Nice early starts, nice early finishes, get home with the family. I've always had a really strong focus on customer service as being just as important as the product. We love our customers and we have a great time with you. People enjoy that and they tell everyone to come in because we're so nice and approachable. You don't have to be too brave to come in here by yourself for the first time. It's a good platform in here to really express ourselves. It's got a lot of character. for crossing and always canes for walking for goats and mice. People like to get cheeky with the name, but uh, I'll leave that up to everyone else. Uh, if you ask me, I'll just say it's because of our style of extraction. Naked uh, porter filters, therefore a naked espresso. Cause when it's a tree, oh, you... I get my coffee from Honeybird Coffee Roasters up in Mount Beauty. Ryan and I are very good friends. Together we could be the true story of how all good things count in threes. One of the bigger ticks for the Slayer is that it's sexy. Very sexy. Everyone likes to see a good coffee come out of a very good looking machine. I've casually Casually named her Constantine. You and me and some LOV. Together we can. Uh, we'll often try and do a nice little bit of art in your takeaway cup, even though you can't see it, because uh, it's, about, it's about the love and you can definitely taste the difference. People can just come every day and uh, know that we're going to be here cooking away in the Slayer. Always want to give myself a nine out of ten just so I can strive that little bit further. And we haven't even been going a year yet, so it's definitely going to keep going. That's for sure.